Picture this, a soldier in a dark alley, on his shoulder a single tube, in his hands the power to knock down a building wall or stop an armored car. This isn't science fiction, this is real, and it's changing combat right now. Hello, welcome to Wartech Zone. Today we are talking about a real weapon that does two huge jobs. It is small enough for one person to carry, but it is powerful enough to change a fight. It is called the Matador AGM. For a long time, soldiers had a problem. If they wanted to break through a strong wall, they needed a big, heavy rocket. If they wanted to stop a light-armored vehicle, they needed a different rocket. They had to carry two different weapons or choose the wrong one. In a city fight, where everything happens fast, this was a deadly problem. Then, engineers from Israel and other countries asked a simple question. What if one weapon could do both? The answer was the Matador. It's special feature is its warhead. Warhead is just the word for the explosive part at the front of the rocket. Most warheads are built for one thing only, but the Matador's warhead is programmable. This means a soldier can choose the setting. Think of it like a power tool with two modes. Mode 1 is for walls. You point, you shoot, and the explosion is designed to smash through concrete and reinforce doors. It makes a big hole for soldiers to go through quickly. Mode 2 is for armor. You point at a vehicle, shoot, and the explosion focuses into a sharp, piercing jet of metal. It cuts through the armor to stop the vehicle. One tube, one rocket two completely different results. The soldier decides in seconds. This simple idea is a revolution. But how do you make something so powerful safe for the soldier to use? A big rocket has a huge blast out the back when you fire it. This back blast is dangerous. It means you can only fire from open spaces. In a city, going out into the open can get you killed. The Matador was engineered to fix this. Its system controls the explosion inside the tube. This means the soldier can fire it from inside a small room or from a window. The back blast is very small. This is a huge deal. It lets the soldier stay hidden and safe. He can shoot from cover. This changes everything in a street fight. Now, why did Israel push for this kind of weapon? Because they learned from real hard experience. Much of their fighting happens in crowded cities and tight neighborhoods. They needed a tool that was fast, precise, and powerful for these places. They needed something a single infantryman could carry through narrow alleys and up stairwells. The old tools were too big or too limited, so they worked with partners to build something new. They didn't want a giant missile on a truck. They wanted a tool that gave every infantryman the power of a small tank. That's what the Matador is. It puts massive power into the hands of one person. It turns a regular soldier into the most powerful person on the block. Let's talk about how it works in a real situation. Imagine a team of soldiers in a city. They are moving down a street. Suddenly, enemy fighters run into a strong concrete house and lock the doors. The soldiers are stuck in the open. It's a trap. With an old weapon, they might have to call for a big vehicle with a giant gun. That takes time. The enemy is shooting at them. They are in danger. But with the Matador, one soldier gets down on one knee. He sets the warhead to wall mode. He aims at the corner of the building. He fires from right where he is, behind a car. Boom! The explosion blows a clean hole right through the wall. Now his team has a new door. They can rush in fast and surprise the enemy inside. The fight is over in moments. Now imagine a different problem. An hostile armored car is speeding down the road toward a checkpoint. It won't stop. The soldiers at the checkpoint have rifles, but rifles cannot stop the car. A soldier with a matador steps steps up. He sets the warhead to armor mode. He aims at the front of the vehicle. He fires. The rocket hits the engine block. The car is disabled instantly. The threat is stopped. One weapon solved two totally different problems. This is the real value. It is simple and it works. You might think such a powerful rocket is hard to aim, but it's designed to be very accurate. Even if the soldier is nervous or in a strange position, the rocket flies straight. It has a good guidance system. In a city, you cannot miss. There might be civilians in other buildings. You need to hit exactly what you aim for. The Matador is built for this precision.
When we compare it to other weapons, the Matador wins because it does more with less. Other shoulder-fired rockets are often bigger and heavier. Some can only attack tanks. Some can only destroy buildings. Soldiers have to carry more weight, and they have to guess which threat they will face. The Matador removes the guesswork. It removes the extra weight. It gives the soldier confidence. He knows that whatever happens, he has the right tool already in his hands. What do the soldiers who use it say? They say it is reliable. They say it is easy to learn. And they say it feels good to carry because it is not too heavy. Most of all, they say it gives them options. In a battle, options mean control. And control means you are more likely to win and survive. This is not just a weapon for special forces. Regular infantry units can use it. Police in very dangerous situations can use it. Anywhere you need to stop a big threat fast, but you also need to be careful. The Matador fix the job. The story of the Matador is really the story of modern war. Big open battlefield fights are rare now. Today, fights happen in cities, in towns, on crowded streets. The enemy hides among buildings. They use walls and cars for protection. To win, this kind of fight, you need the right tools. You need to be fast, you need to be precise, and you need to be powerful. But you also need to be careful. The weapon you carry must be as smart as the soldier using it. This is the new rule, and the Matador AGM is built for this new rule. It shows that the future of infantry power is not about bigger explosions. It is about smarter explosions. It is about giving one person the right kind of power at the right time. For countries like Israel, which face these urban threats every day, this tool is essential. It is a direct answer to a real problem. And because the problem exists all over the world, many other armies are now buying the Matador. They see its value. They see how it changes the game. In the end, the Matador AGM is more than a rocket launcher. It is a force multiplier. That is a military term that means it makes a small group of soldiers act like a much larger, more powerful group. One soldier with a Matador can do what used to require a whole team or a big vehicle. This changes how armies plan, how they train, and how they fight. It makes infantry units more independent and more dangerous. So, what does all this mean for the future? It means that the soldier on the ground will continue to get more powerful tools. The technology will get smaller, smarter, and more versatile. The line between a rifleman and a tank will keep getting blurrier. Weapons like the Matador are the first step in this direction. They prove that with good engineering, you can pack a giant punch into a small package. You can give an individual soldier the power to shape the battle. This is a significant shift. For thousands of years, the strongest army had the most men or the biggest machines. Now, strength can come from intelligence, from design, and from giving the right tool to the right person. The Matador AGM is a perfect example of this new kind of strength. It is simple, effective, and it works in the real world. It was born from real needs and real combat, and it will save the lives of the soldiers who carry it. And that is perhaps its most important feature. It is not just a weapon for destroying things. It is a tool for completing a mission and going home alive. It gives soldiers a better chance to win and to survive. And that is the ultimate goal of any military technology. If you found this look at real-world military tech interesting, please let us know. Hit the like button. It really helps our channel grow, War Tech Zone. And subscribe so you don't miss our next video, where we break down another piece of technology that is changing the world. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.